The unspoken thing that we've all needed all along was somebody or something for that matter that would be honest enough to be brutal yet affectionate when they tell people about it because the only way to understand it is to have all the details no matter which way it goes. Now that doesn't mean everyone's personal individual details. It doesn't even mean historical details because they're all already there. It's in the letters and the numbers and the symbols. Now, words like God and go to Marbuta, you know, his name is, I don't say it right because I don't have the accents and I don't want to try to slander anybody's name. But like I said, D and T are tense words. Like the D is the fourth letter, T is the fifth letter. E is five. Five is energy. So when you would multiply E by D, four times five, <clears throat> or five times four, since I said E then D, you would get T. So when you have five senses, which we only consider five senses, we have more. But when you have the five sense being here, which is an energy, we are an energetic being. We know that. So God, being G-O-D, is all things that you can look out and see. It's that shape of a D, the line that you are, the eye, and then from that eye, the top of the arc, all the way down to the bottom of the toes, the arc. You are everything that you look out and see because you define it. Now, God is that. Got is G-O-T, is something that you go and then you grab and you add it to yourself. It's G-O-T. I got it. It's right here in the center of that T plus. So then Gotama Buddha, whose name is spelled G-A-U-T-A-M-A, -A, is not your common thing. I've been trying to explain the letters and the vowels. Like when you get to the vowels, if you have an A before U, a is the first vowel, U is the fifth vowel. If you take one vowel tense away from U, because there's the A, which is one in front of it, between A and U would be O. And that would mean that his name is G, O. You have five vowels, you have from A to U. There's five vowels from this, the span of that is five vowels. Like I said, five Ds equals T. You've got God, G-O-D. Then you've got got ama, like G-A-U-T. The A-U makes an O when you take five tenses away or when you put it in five tenths. I'm sorry, these words are so hard to say because nobody taught me this. This was stuff that I learned from a non-time space. And as wild as it sounds every time I say that, I'm going to say it until it makes sense to people. Repetition matters. You got to hear this stuff because you're doing this too. Whether you get it or not, whether it sounds crazy or not, it doesn't sound any more crazy than your heart beats. It doesn't sound any more crazy than you just go, hmm, and this thought pops up in your brain, which is a mass of goo inside your skull. That doesn't sound crazy to you because you've been doing it. But what's weird is you've been doing what I'm talking about way longer than we called a brain, a brain. You just think you're a human being now and you like it. Even though you think you don't like it, it's a lot better than some of the things you could be living in the mud as some kind of sloppy critter or something like that. <clears throat> but I don't want to go too far into that tangent there. I just want to point out that the AU making an O. And if you would go from a five tenths, how we moved it back, you move that T five tenths back, it would be a D. And then A-M-A, -A. have you ever heard of Anna? Well, you have Ama, and it's a male. Anna is usually Anna, like a girl. Like we say Vana, and we say like Savannah, those kind of things. Those have a feminine nature <clears throat> because they are there. They're there whether you like it or not. Not, not whether you like it or not, but they're like they're the mother. They're what is before the movement. I'm not going to go too far into that because I've already got a long description and explanation of mother and father. But mother is earth. Mother is stationary, producing, nurturing, giving. 
Stationary doesn't mean it doesn't move, but in some senses when we talk about mother being space that can produce more and father being time which can move, like further, father. Anyway, mother also, while moving, because you have legs and you can be mobile, while you're moving, what is of you is mother. The matter that is you is mother. The materials you're made of is mother. The actions you make, the thoughts you have, those kind of things are father because they change the future with adjustments. If you don't get that, you're just not trying very hard to or you just don't want to because you have other people who've talked in your ear and you believed a book and you believed about the Bibles or the Korans or any of the scriptures you've read and that's fine. You can have those there too. But even if those are the ones you listen to and follow, you have to realize that there are other ones. Because other people who believe in gods that may not be the same god as you or that may not be the same kind as yours have learned completely different things that have nothing to do with the book you read and they believe as deeply as you do that their book was right. If you can't see how that is just drawing lines between two people and making them pick sides or making them pick a god, which is kind of crazy, then you need a lot of time to really think over what you've been doing with your effort when it comes to looking into your creator. You have always been your creator. What you introduce to yourself, what you allow into yourself, and how you think, feel, and act is you. You've been creating this. You just didn't have control of the way you think. Once you have control of the way you think, you can make a way better lifestyle and a way better lifetime and a way better everything for you and everyone. So I'm not going to go any further than that. I just want you guys to see that even though it just sounds silly talking about letters and numbers, they're all that really matter when it comes to how we got here and what we're doing. And they have everything to do with and they make all the difference on where we're going to go. We just have to start doing the right stuff. Till next time, peace.